Police departments across the country have been struggling to find and recruit officers. It's something we've talked about a lot over the last few years since the pandemic, the murder of George Floyd and Black Lives Matter protests demanding police reform. Now new data show there may be a change. Here's New Center Maine's Pearl Small. It has been a tough few years for the Portland Police Department. Just ask Major Jason King. Our officers are working long hours. They're working hard. Like departments across the state, King says Portland has struggled to recruit officers. It has been operating without 19% of its force for almost the last year and a half. But recently, there's some hope. So we have seen an increase in applications. Perhaps a promising result of a nationwide trend. A new report from the Police Executive Research Forum shows staffing is increasing across the country again for the first time since 2020. Now, would I say it's a, a an eyebrow raising, holy cow, look at all the people coming? No, um, but it is encouraging. Maine State Police Lieutenant Brian Harris, who covers some of the most rural parts of the state, says it doesn't mean they are out of the woods. I can have 10 people interested today and get them started in our process. I know I'm not gonna see those 10 people boots on the ground in a uniform patrolling a rural patrol and probably uh, not for a good you know, nine months. Still, recruitment efforts like this video created for state police are attracting new interest. That, combined with higher wages, better benefits, and big sign-on bonuses, appear to be slowly paying off. I sit here today and I can predict that in six months to a year, our department will be at a, a totally different level than it is right now. Good news for agencies big and small as they work to carry out their mission to protect and serve. Hoping to get more applications in and ultimately hire more officers. In Portland, Pearl Small, News Center, Maine.